Hello, welcome back to another After Effects video. So in this video, I want to continue looking at masks. Uh, what I'd like to do is we select the layer, and that means that when we draw a shape, we're going to get a mask, right? So for instance, if I draw the shape around the person here, you can get that mask. Now, if we press MM on the mask, we're going to get four values. We're going to get feather. We we'll obviously get the path, which we've seen. Feather opacity expansion. So feather essentially will create different sort of alpha variations on the inside and the outside of the mask. And then we can expand that by doing, so for instance, if I do a little uh, feather, this is quite a large image, so you can see the feather there. And then what it means is I can then expand and get a little bit a bit further. We could, we could do, do down and get less, right? But it will keep the same feathering. So that's like a way to sort of select that. Now the thing about opacity as well is interesting. So let's remove this mask quickly. And what I would like to do is just get like a couple of different masks so we can see how to use multiple masks at the same time. So we'll just take one of that, take one of the face. And remember, we can click on that one and then Control and T. And then we could maybe just go and just do, we could shift a little bit. So you can see we have three masks now. So if I press TT, you can see we're gonna get the opacity values for each of them. So what I could do, for instance, I could do like something like a zero here. Then we could marquee select, copy those points, and then do a copy paste down here, right? So obviously that is useful to do something like that. And it means that you could potentially also put in a bunch of effects if you wanted to as well. So that just means you can have a bunch of different things. If they were, so you can imagine each of these different masks, they could be letters and text. They could be anything, right? Uh, you can also apply layer styles. So for instance, if I did a layer style, uh, outer glow, you can see that's gonna brighten it up a bit. So you could apply whatever layer style you want to that. And yeah, you can also put effects in as well. So with spotlight, for instance, this could be an interesting one to use here. So we could start with the, we'll start the cone angle here and then we'll just make it take up the whole amount of space. This is just one particular example, that's enough, right? So yeah, you probably want to time remap the whole thing here. You could actually look at the expansion as well, maybe. You could sort of synergize it with the opacity. I'm not sure if there's any real value to doing that. We could try it there. Just maybe just give it a little boost. It's sort of like different, like a... So what I could do is I could just take these values, copy... I'm not really sure exactly. This is kind of a little bit off track here, but... We'll do that a little one a bit later, right? So you can see you could start to get like a like a... It's slightly different effect, but yeah, 